Welcome back to Two Beard Gaming. This is TF Banana, and welcome to Eight Credits, One Banana, my weekly tour through retro arcade goodness. This week, Vigilante, or as I like to call it, Kung Fu 2. Those of you familiar with Kung Fu on the NES, or the arcade equivalent of Kung Fu Master, will, I'd say, feel right at home playing this one, you know, because, well... Let's just be honest, right off the bat, I mean, we're dealing with skinheads and Madonna, so it doesn't get much more 80s than that. But the setup is no different than the original Kung Fu. Your girl is taken, and it's up to you to go get her. So let's get out onto these mean streets and get to punching. Speaking of uh, punching, why don't you punch that subscribe button down below, and do take a second or two to take a look at the description so you can find all the ways you can keep in contact with us over at TBG. As I uh, got my nunchucks, and these would have been pretty awesome in Kung Fu, which I have to say I've got a special place in my heart for. I can remember my very first gray NES console being pretty excited on Christmas and opening it up. And of course I had the Mario and Duck Hunt tool cart. Got a copy of Spy Hunter, but I also got Kung Fu. And I'll tell you what, I, uh, Still love that game to this day, but I'm gonna be honest, Vigilante, I think I played maybe once or twice in the arcade. And played it one time before I set up here to to get this out here to you and realized that I'm kinda glad I don't have much experience with this one because Vigilante is brutal. Or I suck, or any combination in between. Why don't you let me know in the comments below which one it is? Whoa! You gotta love those sound effects. As I uh, am one life down, but I still have all my credits. That's what's important. It's a credit game, right? Aha! As I skillfully avoid your bullet and get to my first boss and first thing right off the bat as I hit the wrong button. I'm gonna have to say I love how they, uh, they kept the end of the level very much the same way as Kung Fu and that anybody that was trailing you kind of runs away because they don't want any part of this ugliness. So let's see what this uh, what this big boy's got for us. I'm loving Loving this, you know, when I was talking about Sunset Riders, when we did that one on a past episode, I bet you you could probably find a link to that one. I mentioned Gunsmoke, and looking at that guy in the background, I swear to you that is straight off of Capcom's Gunsmoke. Except this is an Irem game, so I don't know, I could just be making it up. And whereas in Kung Fu they would just grab you and hold you for no reason, and then you would die, at least now when they grab you it's by your throat and it sucks. I will say my biggest gripe with this one is the way that these enemies are spaced. There's just not a lot of room to maneuver, especially uh, they get a couple of these guys with bats or chains coming at you from both sides. You got one going low, one going high, you're stuck in between and you're just going to get hit. But you know, it's the arcade, that's how they funded themselves. Not by 100% quality all the time as much as it was just cheap ways to kill you to make you pay more to keep on going. trouble. Is that their name? Probably not, but we're just going to stick with that as they trade off kicking me in the face and the stomach. I have to say the music is pretty rad. I I'm definitely digging, digging this track a lot. Not diggling, diggling, dirt diggler. Not digging the, uh, the tactic of 
flipping back onto the van and then flipping back. It's gonna take forever at this rate. Okay, so maybe I'll punch you in the face a little bit. That seemed to work a little bit better, but you retreated. Oh, okay. See, now you guys are just, you guys are just playing to take money from me now. That's messed up, dude. That's just messed up. And see this dude, like, come on. How was I not hitting you? Man, I, I'm mad at 1988 right now. I think I'm right. I think it was 1988. Correct me in the messages if I'm wrong. Wouldn't be the first, wouldn't be the last. <laughs> Juggle my face back and forth, apparently. I'm pretty agile for some big men. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to end this nonsense. This is a little bit ridiculous here. You're making me fight. Fight a little bit too meticulously here. Dare I say, you've turned this into the souls like of side scrolling beat em ups? I'm just playing. And you, sir. May have a nice day. Well, let's go, orange jacket. Oh. As soon as I ran my mouth, he kicked me in it. No matter. I will send you on your way and continue my quest to get Madonna back from your skinhead brothers. Now you're up in it. You're up in it. Now I got what looks like old people on motorcycles. In the mean streets or well of I'm gonna go ahead and say I guess this is the Brooklyn Bridge. Cause uh well, you know, there's the twin towers in the background, so we are in New York. So I'm gonna go with Brooklyn Bridge. Man, I'd hate to uh have been in New York during this time. I'm thinking this is a little bit like post warriors New York. and repeat these faces. I like how I've got like little to no reach when I try to throw a punch. Definitely staying true to the, uh, the kung fu roots, which, come on dude, you don't even have like a chain attached to that. No matter, you still hit me in the face with it. All right, big boy. All right, so the full frontal attack isn't working. Wow, but you don't like getting punched in the balls either. Not that I, I don't either, but. He really didn't seem to enjoy that. Definitely glad they went with the name Vigilante, because there's definitely no Kung Fu happening right now. This is just a fist fight. Well, I mean, there are feet involved, too. I come. Let me know on a 1 to 10 scale how good my interpretation there was of that voice. I did my best. But I think I'm gonna stick to just uh, popping and running, man. Popping and running. Look at that. He ain't even coming after me. He is fully based. All of his movements based on me. 
Alright. Come on. <laughs> Alright, big boy. Let's put you down. Can only imagine what you guys have in store for me next. Somehow don't think it's gonna be all that fun, but we'll find out, won't we? As I get ready to chase after Badana a little bit more. Guess we can use this opportunity to again tell you if you're new to the channel or, you know, just hanging out. Figured you'd look for some skinhead fun, Madonna fun. You know what? I might even have to tag those just to see what kind of weirdness we can pull in. I have to talk to everybody. I don't know if they necessarily want me to put hashtag skinheads, hashtag Madonna on a video. Well, that was a quick start to this level. And this is the type of nonsense I'm talking about right here. Get these dudes with the knives that require multiple attacks. Then you get rushed by other guys while you're trying to get rid of him. And if he shanks you, it's a wrap. As I take turns getting choked out here by... And there he is, shanking me. Goodness gracious. There he is. Different times, different times. Imagine if they released something like this now. Like, look at this. What do you do in that moment? You do your jump kick, you rebound backwards. You got that one guy whipping you up top with the chain, the other guy whipping you low, and then a steady stream of dudes. I love it! But hey, it's only virtual currency, baby. And virtual knife wounds to your kidneys. I guess it shouldn't go without saying that some of these sound effects, I swear, very similar to bad dudes. The voices sound a lot better though, You're not getting that gravelly, I'm bad, or whatever. It's, I'm just all full of impressions today, I love it. Ooh, ooh, wow. knife to the liver on that one. So we've gone from kidneys to livers to bats over the head. Punches into Johnson. Here comes my chain, buddy. Gonna rebound. Oh, double chains, double chain. You know what that means? Two chains? For all of our hip-hop fans out there. I don't even want to say hip-hop. That's, di that's disrespectful to hip-hop. How about two chains for our rap fans? That's better. I can't disrespect hip-hop. How dare I? As I get ready to fight this carn off, knock off mother. What are, what are we doing here? I can't jump up there. Well, I can't pick that up either. I'm glad I had those nunchucks to take that damage for me though. Nope, so what do I do? What do we do? I jump up and punch you in the balls? Where do I walk over your dynamite when it blows up in my face? There. Let's see, let's see. Let's get rid of that. Nope. All right, so I'm not jumping up there. I'm just gonna have to, oh, there it is. Okay. All right, oh, and I can punch these things in the air. Okay, so that brings you down. So th look at all that time I wasted. Thankfully, every time you die, the time resets. That's a nice little trick I learned when I died in the first level. And if you listen carefully, you might have just heard my dog in the background breaking into my my studio. So you kicked in the face yet again and dropped. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of my eight credits. Imagine that as I have to now watch this guy dance. Well, that was uh, that was an adventure to be sure. Well, I am TF Banana. This is To Beard Gaming. We were just witness to eight credits, one banana. So I will see you again next Saturday. Peace.